Our next tip for Photoshop newbies and beginners is the Dodge and Burn tool. This is pretty helpful on portraits more than anything. More, for me, it's been more helpful on portraits than photos like this. So, this picture is a stock photo and it looks, it's, you know, pretty good. But let's say that I have a photo and the teeth aren't white enough. Let's say I want her teeth to be whiter. I can do something with the Dodge tool. The Dodge tool lightens the pigment on, or the, well, the color, basically, <laughs> the color of whatever you're your you whatever you know you're going over and one thing you want to do whenever you mess with uh, anything on your picture at all is you want to make sure that you can delete it without having to use the undo command because Photoshop can only undo so much and then you're undoing everything that you've done since then and you may not want to do that so what you want to do is you want to copy you want to keep your background layer as the way it all was the original photo. You want to keep that always. You don't always have to keep it on, but you have to get rid of it. Actually, you have to unlock it to turn it off. But, um, so let's see here. So we've got this layer. We're going to, you can either c drag it down here to this little piece of paper here, or you can hit Command J, and that'll give you a copy. I use Command J, it's just quicker than using the mouse. So I have this layer here, and we're not, we're going to be real, we're not going to be destructive with it. We're going to be able to undo this if we don't like it. So I'm going to come over here to, you see this hand here? That's the burn tool. I'm going to hold down, I'm going to click and hold down on it to get more options. I'm going to use the dodge tool. And this is short key O. So I'm going to zoom in a little bit more. And I'm going to use the dodge tool. I'm going to unlock that. And you can change, this is only at 50% exposure up here. And I want to go to the, you can choose the shadows, or the highlights, or the midtones. Midtones is usually a safe place, or a safe option to use. So I'm just going to go in here, and I'm going to just mess with some of her teeth here, so you guys can see the difference. When you're messing with teeth, you have to make sure they're not too white, or else it's going to be very obvious that you've messed with them. And if you want to, if you need to change the diameter of your circle, you just use the bracket keys left bracket to make smaller, right bracket right bracket to make it bigger. Now you can see the difference in the teeth I dodged over here and the teeth that I didn't dodge over here. So I'm going to get rid of this layer. So you turn it off and you can see. So I'm going to get rid of that layer and get my cat off my lap because she likes to, she likes to um, dig her claws into my stomach. And so I'm going to use the burn tool now. I'm going to duplicate my layer. Go over to the burn tool. Go over here. Click and hold. Click the burn tool with the hand. And I'm going to make her teeth darker. Let's say her teeth are too white for me. We're going to make this darker. And again, exposure is only at 50%. You can keep going over something to make it darker, but I like to just get it done in one go. And this looks so gross. Let's see, I've got... Yeah, you see, you want to make someone's teeth look yellow. You want to make them look like they don't have very good hygiene then, um, yeah, this is your tool. <laughs> so, that's basically everything it does. It's not going to make it dark, it's not going to make it black, but it's going to just darken it and make the hue deeper. So, let's get rid of that. <laughs> uh, give her back her normal teeth. And that's the Dodge and Burn tool.